714, welcome back to BT Tuesday morning. Trying to make sense of these hazy days when it comes to you, your health, your families. Dr. Sarah Henderson joining us right now. And uh, thanks for being here and shedding some light on the subject. Uh, given the reality we've seen over the last few days, today feels much better. Uh, what are the health consequences for family, for kids, and uh, you know, for the elderly? So we want to be particularly careful for people who have pre-existing respiratory conditions or cardiovascular conditions. They're definitely at the most risk here. Everyone should probably take it a little bit easier than they normally do. This is pretty poor air quality given what we're used to in the region. Kids of particular interest because they breathe faster than adults do, so they take in more air. You want to keep them a little bit calmer, give them lots of water. The elderly, again, you know, they might have difficulty breathing in the first place so they might have a hard time here and then pregnant ladies as well also want to take extra care of the way they want to take extra care about all things. Interesting of note you're a scientist a senior scientist in environmental studies not a, a GP or a doctor giving advice and that's advice we hear sort of everywhere but you're specialized in this particular <laughs> problem wildfire smoke we're not used to it but this might be the first of many times we might see this in the city. So I've been studying the health effects of forest, forest fire smoke in BC since the 2003 event in Kelowna where we had very smoky conditions throughout the interior for much of the summer. Uh, this is the smokiest conditions that I can ever remember in the lower mainland but this is quite early in the forest fire season of 2015. There's no guarantee that we're not going to see this again sometime over the course of this summer and then again in years to come. We're certainly as the climate changes facing a situation where we're seeing bigger fires, more intense fires and smokier fires that are harder to put out. So, you know, this is something we might have to get used to. So sh should we all be buying masks? Yeah, that's the thing. What are the key symptoms we need to look for to recognize the fact, okay, something could be wrong because there are some people wearing masks, taking precautions. What are the symptoms to look out for here? Okay, I'm going to ask answer the mask question first. Okay. Um, you'll see people out there with surgical masks. Those really aren't very helpful. They don't cut the the fine particulate matter at all. So that's not a great way to protect yourself uh, and we don't recommend it. Wearing a mask just makes it even harder to breathe. It's, it's much better to try to seek cleaner air in more clean air environments like libraries or community centers and just stay calm. Um, and your question was about, I'm sorry, remind me. About the symptoms because oh, you can feel like, okay, you know, you feel overwhelmed by the hazy smoke, but when do you really know that something is off? So if you have a respiratory condition, you know that something's off. If you're having wheezing and you're having a hard time getting that wheezing under control or coughing under control, that's when you need to start following the next steps of your respiratory action plan. But everybody, like, yeah, Yesterday I was coughing all day and it was because of the smoke and I'm a totally healthy individual so you know everybody might have watery eyes, a bit of a headache, a bit of a cough and that's just normal. That's your body trying to cope with this, this higher level of air pollution. So step one, just if you're having those minor reactions that you say are fairly normal, water, get into a situation where it might be a cleaner air scenario. Yeah, exactly. Water, take it easy, get into cleaner air for a little while if you can. That'll give you a bit of respite from the outdoor situation. Okay, Dr. Sarah Henderson, thanks so much for joining us today and talking about the all-important issue that uh, has impacted all of us here across the province.